All living and non-living matter is made up of atoms. Just like the letters of the alphabet join together in different ways to form words, atoms join together in different ways through chemical reactions to form different solids, liquids and gases. In a chemical reaction, atoms lose, gain or share electrons to form a new substance called a compound. A source of sound emits energy which causes a nearby object to vibrate when they absorb the sound energy. The Earth's magnetic field exerts a force on a compass, causing it to align in a north-south direction. Hence a compass can be used to show direction. Magnets exert forces on each other. A north pole attracts a south pole, while a north pole repels a north pole. When you move two magnets away from each other, the magnetic force decreases. It is an inverse relationship. All objects that have mass exert a force on each other. For example, we are attracted towards the Earth, but as we move away into outer space, this force of attraction decreases. This force of attraction is called weight. That is why you are weightless in space. Opposite charges attract, like charges repel. But as you move the charges away from each other, the force decreases. All objects are in a state of rest or moving at a constant speed in the same direction unless an unbalanced force acts on them. Since velocity is speed in a given direction, you can change velocity of an object by changing its speed or its direction or both. If you want to speed up an object, apply a force in the direction of its motion. If you want to slow an object down, apply a force opposite to its direction of motion. If an object is at rest or moving with constant velocity, the total force acting on it is zero. A light bulb converts electrical energy to heat and light energy. The chemical energy in the food you eat keeps your body warm, allows you to move through kinetic energy, and speak, which produces sound energy. At the Earth's surface, Radiation from the sun heats the surface and causes convection currents in the air, where hot air rises and cold air sinks. It also causes convection currents in the oceans, where hot water rises and cold water sinks, creating climates. Below the surface, heat from the Earth's interior causes movements in the molten rock. This then creates the Earth's magnetic field. The Earth's surface is constantly changing through the formation and weathering of rock. Our Sun, as well as the eight planets and other smaller objects orbiting it, comprise the solar system. Day and night and the seasons are explained by the orientation and rotation of the Earth as it moves around the Sun. The solar system is part of a galaxy of stars, one of many millions in the universe, enormous distances apart, and many of these stars also have planets.
all organisms are constituted of one or more cells. Multicellular organisms have cells that are differentiated according to their function. For example, a red blood cell carries oxygen, while a muscle cell can contract and relax, allowing a bone to move. And growth is the result of the cells dividing. Plants make their own food by combining water with carbon dioxide using light energy in a process called photosynthesis. So they compete for water and light. Animals are consumers because they eat plants and animals. They compete with each other for food, shelter and mates. Food is needed by all organisms to carry out the basic functions of life and to grow. In plant reproduction, Seeds are dispersed to avoid competition for space, light and water with the parent plant. Genetic information in the cell is held in the chemical DNA in the nucleus of the cell. Genes determine the development and structure of organisms. In asexual reproduction, all the genes in the offspring come from one parent. In sexual reproduction, half of the genes come from each parent. Continuous evolution over many generations can result in the development of new varieties and species. Failure to evolve in response to environmental changes can, and often does, lead to extinction. All life forms, including humans, evolved from single-cell organisms and continue to evolve today.